I'm Bob Hallmark in studio in Longview today. A generation of Americans grew up watching this man's work in an iconic show about a dog, Lassie. And we're going to talk about uh, a gentleman now who had uh, put a lot of work into uh, the show, Lassie, and that would be uh, Robert W. Weatherwax. Um, if you haven't uh, been familiar with him, then you probably know his son because we actually have talked with uh, Robert uh, R. Weatherwax several times, and uh, we're going to talk to him now. Uh, Robert joins us, and uh, let's talk a little bit about your dad. Uh, this uh, this show obviously was immensely popular, and a lot of people probably didn't even know that uh, it was Robert that was training Lassie. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, my dad started uh, right around the time I was born, just before uh, I was born in 1963, right around the time of uh, John F. Kennedy's assassination. And my dad um, had gotten out of the Army just about a year prior and uh, his brother was actually working on the show my uncle Jackie at a certain point he took over for Jackie and from 1963 until 1974 my dad worked on Lassie with my grandfather Rudd. Uh, Robert Weatherwax uh, passed away in uh, Philadelphia at the uh, age of uh, 83 uh, and he did a lot more than just uh, a lot more than just Lassie. I understand that uh, he had trained animals for uh, quite a number of films. Oh, absolutely. My dad uh, won Patsy Awards for his work on The Odd Couple um, with a, a collie named Silver. And then that same dog, Silver, worked uh, with uh, our family dog, Laddie, uh, playing the role of dog in Big Jake with John Wayne. And, um, you know, my dad also had the first dog to ever travel through time. You know, he trained OJ, the dog that played Einstein in Back to the Future. And, um, you know, my dad has a, a vast um, resume of work that he's done. As a matter of fact, we both did Dennis the Menace. I did uh, the movie version with Walter Matthau. And then he did the TV version called The Dinosaur Hunter, um, you know, around the same time. So, you know, my dad and I, and of course, I worked with my dad on the new Lassie. Uh, you had the rare opportunity, and it's not every son that gets to work uh, with his father in the same field, uh, uh, but you had the rare opportunity to work with him. Is it fair to say that he loved every minute of what he was doing? Yeah, I think he did. I mean, dad had a passion for training dogs. I think that my dad's biggest challenge was probably dealing with directors and people who are asking things of the dogs. He always performed and did a great job for directors. I know Steven Spielberg thought highly of my dad. And uh, that's because he was a true professional in every aspect. But he loved dogs so much, like I did, that I know that the, the struggle he had was protecting the dog, taking care of the dog on the set, so that you know he would work another day. Because my dad always saw things in the big picture, as Rudd did. He saw it about that dog two years down the road, three years down the road. He wasn't thinking about, you know, that one shot. He was always thinking about all the shots that were going to come after that. Millions of Americans, an entire generation grew up uh, watching Lassie. Uh, a great, uh, you know, tribute to your father. Uh, how would you like people to remember your father? Well, I want people to remember a, a man who didn't just choose dog training, but actually that it chose him, that my father grew up taking care of dogs the way I did. And he really didn't know anything else, you know? I mean, a lot of times we probably look back and thought, you know, we, we wish we had a normal childhood. But I know that my dad loved dogs and he wanted to be involved with them in some way. And that he was truly dedicated to the cause of, of you know, shelter dogs being adopted and, and the welfare of dogs. And I know that it was a personal compliment that when we did shows, my dad and I, they didn't send a humane representative a lot of times to the set because they knew that my dad took care of the dogs and that, you know, there wasn't really much supervision needed because my dad was a consummate professional and was, was he breathed and ate uh, every day, you know, dogs, dogs, dogs. That's, that was his life. Robert R. Weatherwax uh, joining us, a uh, fine tribute to his father. And we'll have much more on this story tonight on KLTV 7 News for KLTV Web Extra I'm Bob Holmer.